I definitely saw the potential. People were willing to pay money to make themselves better at a game. It was that potential that led Adam Coe to drop out of U of A three years ago. Too many. And following through on his vision is why this small Tempe workspace is so busy. Millimeter here or there. Adam got hooked on video games at a young age, and when Xbox first came out, he says he became addicted. It's a story his mother doesn't dispute. So he would lay in the hammock and sit there and play, you know, video games. And I would walk in and I'd say, Adam, go read a book, go do something else other than playing video games. But his gaming took a turn toward a career when he figured out a way to become a better player. I decided uh, there's a way to improve my gameplay by enhancing the controller. So I did that and I realized I did do better. So I figured, why can't other people? At first, Adam sold his enhanced game controllers through eBay. News of what his controllers could do spread like wildfire through the gaming community, and Evil Controllers was born, all based on a simple idea. The concept was the controller has, you know, over 12 functions. You use your thumbs and your index fingers. There's only four fingers. So the idea was to incorporate more fingers into the design by relocating buttons that could be used by your middle fingers, your ring fingers. Right away, Adam brought his mother and brother on board to help run his company. Who better to have your back in a new venture than your family? I just thought, you know, instantly, man, he really, he has something. I know he has something. He goes, um, if this works, Mom, I can't tell you how this can change our lives. So he was all excited. So, of course, you know, I'm like all excited, not knowing what's, He's talking about. When you hear him talk, sometimes he talks and you go, you just believe it. So that was basically, I knew that whenever he was ready, I wanted to help him. Today, Evil Controllers sells 14 different modded controllers worldwide. But there's no better way to tell the story of how much Evil Controllers can help a gamer than to hear from one of their happy customers. We interviewed the player known as Nomad in the gaming community from his home in Minnesota over Skype. Uh, I'm a pretty unique, you know, not trying to blow my own horn here, but you know, pretty unique player. I mean, I've been told I'm the only quadriplegic pro gamer in the world, you know, um, who actually can compete with other pro players. Born with a rare muscle and joint disorder, Nomad has become known internet-wide as a top-flight gamer. I've got a pretty strong following. I've got like 74,000 people or whatever on my YouTube channel. Randy would, I would say, is the icon for accessible gaming. Last year, Fitzgerald met the Evil Controllers folks at the game industry's biggest trade show, Electronic Entertainment Exposition, or E3. Knowing his gaming reputation, they offered to customize his control. After they saw me play, they just wanted to help me right away. No small task considering how Nomad plays. This is actually how I play. I, I rotate the controller sideways, and my chin touches the left analog stick when I move it around my chin. But Nomad isn't the only able gamer to be helped by using an evil controller. It really started small, you know, relocating a button to the back side like in the very beginning just if you're missing a middle finger we can put a button there and then we had someone contact us that actually was missing a right hand. We do a lot of actual um, war vets that have come back who've lost an arm. You know, We've actually modified controllers for them so they can continue to play. Evil Controllers was the first company in the modded controller business. Now there are over 30 companies competing with them. But for the people involved in this family-run business, it couldn't get any better. It's great. I mean, I, I always feel like, you know, it's can be stressful, especially with the family, having to separate personal relationships from business decisions. Uh, but who else would you rather be a part of? You know, who, who else do you want to be successful with? You can't ask for anything more as being a mom. And apparently their customers feel the same way. I just really, really want to thank Evil Controllers for everything they've done for me.